good morning friends my name is satendra and in this tutorial i am going to show you how to draw a nyquist plot in matlab so let's just start or take a variable like a num for numerator define a matrix here let's suppose 1 2 3 then define another variable for the denominator so i say then it's 1 2 3 and 4 the order of denominator must be higher from the numerator that's why I take this so define a function let's suppose gt is equals to transfer function this is a keyword for converting a numerator and denominator and transfer function numerator comma denominator it will give you a transfer function like this so I need to, what I need to do I need to uh, plot a Nyquist plot of the function what is called gt now so I just need to go for and my QIS request of GT. So it will give me output of Nyquist diagram. Let me show you. Yeah, it's clearly visible here. It's very easy to find. Now I'm going to write a script uh, because this is not possible for me to type this command all the time. So what I will do? I will write a script, then save it, and uh, when I need to use it, then I call it. So just. Uh, yeah. Here we go. So write a script here. Oh, script for Nyquist. Take our input from that user num is equal to input. Enter the numerator. Now I need to define a function my gt, gt equals tf of this num, comma dn. Now I need to define a function and gt, yeah, go here. So here we go. I save it, run it, now I need to clear the window. Now I am going to run it, let's see what happens. Here it is. Let's say my numerator is one, two, one, two, three. Okay. Denominator is two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Here is the answer. So that's how we plot a Nyquist diagram in MATLAB. Thank you for watching the video. Please do subscribe if you like.